So welcome people of God. So I want to release, um, and I'm really in a really light place. I'm really in an amazing place, but I have to govern this house based on what God is showing me. And so this is a word for those of you that are really struggling, like you are really struggling and you feel like you are doing everything that you think you know to do and stuff is not working for you. I want to uh, talk to you about what really, and I've said this before, I've said this before, but again, I'm going to say this is a very strong word of help. I'm saying that right off the top. So listen, I remember being in a place in my life in 2018. It wasn't even like years ago when I was like, you know, a lot of you know my testimony from just like when I first had my children, all that stuff. But I'm talking about getting to a place where it was right before God literally uh, revealed to me yielded vessel. And he walked me through the process of being yielded. And I'm going to tell you what that was for me. What Because I had, through Christianity, through church, through whatever, I had learned how to perfect what I thought was uh, spiritual warfare and deliverance and how to get stuff done in the spirit realm, all that stuff. But again, I had gotten into a season in my life where that wasn't working anymore. Those pitiful prayers that used to give me breakthrough, it wasn't, they wasn't popping no more. Something was not shaking in the, in the, in the faith realm. And I was frustrated. And this was the first time I had, uh, first of all, I had walked away from my promotion. I was mentally physically and emotionally done. I was done. I was trying to get a house that wasn't working. It was a really, really, really rough season for me. And what really for me caused me to really catapult into performance was God getting me to deal with me. It was no longer always rebuking the devil and praying the problems. It was God dealing with me. And foundationally, I want to tell you what that looked like. Because listen, there are those of you and you really feel like, I don't understand why nothing is working for me. And I am telling you 100% of the time, what is going on in your mind and what is going on in your heart is pure garbage. And I love you enough to tell you that. What is going on in your mind and in your heart is yuck, yuck, yuck. And that's what's coming out. That's what's coming out. I really thought I was having faith. I thought I was being strong. But all it took was somebody to say, girl, what's going on? And all of the problems just poured out. All, everything going wrong just poured out. Girl, let me tell you how I can't get this house. I walked away from this job. These kids acting up in school. I can't get a breakthrough. I'm not getting no more support from this person, that person, I don't feel good in my body. I'm having dizzy spells. This was me. This was me. All of this just came oozing right on out. Like I would listen to a, a, a word. I would listen to a message. I would be good. Sometimes I would listen to the message and still wouldn't be good. Like literally. And so I remember God really telling me that I had to deal with Manny. God said to me, you have perfected resisting the enemy, but you are not submitted to me. And that the scripture says, submit to God first. And I struggled with that. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit. And I'm going to talk to you about what really changed for me. What really changed for me was, first of all, me taking responsibility, me taking responsibility for what was going on in my own mind and in my own heart. Because all those deliverance prayers I was binding lack, the devil, out every in every person, every principality, every situation, every problem, and nothing was shaking because inside my mind and inside my heart was nothing but the problem. And that's what was pouring out. And I just wanted God to just go ahead, do what you got to do, some wins, whatever needs to happen, but I need you to fix this. I need you to fix all this up in here because it's not working for your girl. That was my posture. And I remember being, I remember reading in Philippians 4. And I remember like even now, and I'm going to read it to you. When Paul said, do not, it's Philippians 4, starting with verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything. Do not, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, Paul. Wait, 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 wait. What you mean, don't be anxious about nothing? Don't be worried about nothing. 
And we're living in a time where trauma is legal in the land. Like we, we get to have, we get to go through something and now we get to have trauma after that thing has happened. That's a legal thing in the land. But do you understand that the Bible says that we are not to conform to the patterns of this world, but we actually need to be renewed in our minds. God kept talking to me about me and it was frustrating. Don't talk to me about me. Fix this stuff out here. I'm good. Like, listen, I've been in this thing for a while. I've gotten breakthrough. Many good. Deal with this stuff. Deal with the devil. It's the devil. Deal with the devil and many is good. That was me and God 24 seven. I had to deal with many. God had to get me to be focused on me. I'm going to read it again. Philippians 4, starting at verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Yeah, pause, cut, that's not right. I don't have nothing to be thankful for. Yeah, I know I'm alive. Yeah, I, woo, woo, whatever. I don't have, like, that was literally me. Present your request to God. I was not presenting requests. I was presenting problems. I was saying, listen, this is right. Let's sit down and let's talk about every single thing that's going on. And you, if that's you, right, if you're looking at your life every single moment of every single day and you are surrounded by problems, you need to look inwardly. And we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that. Paul says, verse 7, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, because y'all know y'all, listen, let's just be, let's just be real. We don't understand. I, I don't understand why it looks like this. I don't understand what else I got to do. I don't understand what else I got to pray. I don't get it. But Paul says the peace of God, which is, it, it's, it's bigger than what you understand, will guard your hearts and your mind. While you are going through this thing, your heart and your mind get to be guarded. They get to be guarded when you don't understand, when you can't make sense, when you are tired, when you are weary. Your heart and your mind, they get to be guarded by the peace of God. That changed my, listen, and initially, right, initially, even in, even again, this is Paul in 2 Corinthians 10. There is a passage of scripture that talks about making your thoughts, every thought, obedient to Christ. I remember hearing and reading that we have 6,000 thoughts per day. 6,000 thoughts. I guarantee you, for, for a lot of y'all, 5,000 of those thoughts are not obedient to God. They not. They are obedient to what is going on out here. You see that problem? You don't have no money. This ain't working out. And that's what you're thinking. And we don't understand then why Life ain't looking better. Life ain't going well when none of our, th our thoughts are obedient to everything but Christ. Everything but Christ. And when God had to really, I had to just really sit down and say, listen, listen, mine, <laughs> listen, right? I had to get what was going on in my heart and in my mind in alignment with the word of God. I remember, honestly, in so much frustration, and so much pain. The enemy was threatening my very life. Life just was horrible, right? And I remember God really saying to me, if you yield to my word, I will fix your world. I will fix it. If you believe my word above your world, I'll fix it. That was so frustrating because I was just like, okay, yeah, let's just skip the whole word part and fixing me and renewing my mind all that stuff, whoop, whoop, pass that and fix my world. Fix that. If you made it good, we, we good right here. Fix this right here. But it, it, it wasn't happening that way because Jesus said, <laughs> for those of you that hear and understand, that's where the harvest comes from. And I was thinking, yeah, you know what? It's, it's, it's not working for me. It's, it's, it's yeah, mm-mm. Because everything I was taught was about focusing outside of me, focusing outside of me. And I, inside, I internally was so filled with problems and pity and hurt. And I thought I had a right to be that way. And maybe I did, but I didn't want to stay stuck that way. So I either could be, you could either be right in the fact that, okay, life sucks or I'm moving past this. I'm moving past this. 
I could either be fighting what it was or I could be focused on what I want it to be. And so I choose, I chose continually, even now, the latter. So I had to yield to his word, to who he is, to the bigness, to the grace, to the mercy, to the truth, to the sovereignty that the peace of God was going to be bigger than what I didn't understand. I had to yield to that. I had to yield to his word. I had to think on what was true. I had to think on what was just. I had to think on what was a good report. I had to trust God that I'm not stuck here. I had to trust God that a way was made, even though I didn't see a way, even though I didn't feel like there was, I had to speak those things that were not right now in my life. That is what I had to do. And when I yielded to that process, God started to perform stuff on the outside. Light that was inside started showing up on the outside. Joy that was inside started showing up on the outside. Breakthrough that I got first on the inside started showing up on the outside. So listen, you're struggling, life sucks, ain't nothing working out. I'm, I'm telling you, you need to see, sit down with God. Let's, let, let's, let, let's look at me. Let's look at me. Because Romania just keeps talking about being yielded and me, and I keep wanting her to fix this thing right here, out here. And that's how I was. I was in a tremendous amount of physical pain, and I didn't feel like I had the time or the energy or the effort to go through this process all over again. But it was amazing how swiftly, how expeditiously God moved on my behalf when I started to yield to him. Just a little bit of yielding, just a little bit of God time, just a little bit of surrender, just a little bit of I trust you, just a little bit God got me. I'm not worried about this stuff. This stuff can't take me down. This situation ain't, is not going to overwhelm me. I am more than a conqueror. It, it was amazing how quickly in my heart and my mind when the truth got there that the lie could not show itself that the ugliness of what was going on just had to stuff started coming to me solutions started coming to me provisions started coming to me so i'm telling you right now i'm telling you i i know i know so much of what we hear we just want god to just bypass all this listen it's the devil is, is this person, is that person, is this, just fix that and everything will be good. And God is telling you that when you absolutely let him govern what is going on in the inside of you, you will have a brand new experience of what is going on outside of you. That is the truth of God's word. You do not have to struggle. You do not have to be in pain. You do not have to be in lack. Performance is your right. Performance, the harvest is guaranteed. You are not supposed to live a life where you are always praying and never see performance. That would be an abomination to who God is. As long as the earth remains, there shall always be seed, time, and harvest. Seed, time, and harvest. See, the harvest is guaranteed. The harvest is guaranteed. Some of y'all need to go back. And these seeds that y'all have planted of worry and overthinking and woe is me and it don't never work out and I can't, y'all need to uproot that seed. That seed right there got planted like that, like that farmer said, an enemy did this. I'm planting seeds of peace and joy and ease and breakthrough and breakout. That, that's what's planted in my heart. And out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. If you always talking about what's wrong, that's what's planted there. That's what's planted there. If you always talking about it don't never work for me, that's what's planted there. That's what's planted there. So listen, we might need to, on the, on the second day of summer, uproot some of that seed, get that seed up out there. No, 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 no. That's not what's here so that life can go well for you. I love you. I pray that this word locates you. I pray that breakthrough right now is immediate in your life. In Jesus' name.